So join me in the studio and see what we're creating this week. Sunday. <laughs> so, did you see the bonus episode of where I've started this fabulous project of a hundred days of collage? Yippee! I'm so excited about this project because we get to create really cool art, and I'm really hoping that you're joining me so we can create it together and post in my Facebook group. And yay! So this week our theme is text. I know. You're thinking that's a little boring, but trust me, that's not boring. Putting text in your collage is so exciting because there's so many options to be able to do that. So I'm going to show you a few options and tell you some of my favorite applications. And then that's going to inspire you to create some more beautiful art. So, of course, first of all, you can start with book text. Yes, we all have access to books that we can rip up. You can go to the library. You can buy them secondhand online. You can get them from the op shop. Um, so many ways of getting book text. I don't mean like stealing books from the library. I mean like <laughs> sometimes the library sells off old books that I don't want anymore. Don't be like ripping up, you know, the library's new books. So book text is really cool to use in collage. I love it. I've used it like forever in my collage and I'll get them from usually the op shop or secondhand shop has lots of cheap books and you can use them in the natural um, color or you can paint them, spray them, stencil them. Hello, it's paper. You can do anything to them. Fabulous. Now, you can also use your own writing. So I've written a passage here about art on a gel print. And it's really cool to use your own writing. You might think, oh, my writing's not very neat or very nice or whatever. It doesn't matter. I did this in a real loose, large kind of script writing. And I wanted all the letters to like bump into each other because it's all about the texture. It's not about trying to read the text. It's about the texture that it creates and how visually that's going to work in your design. So think about writing on some of your gel prints, especially prints that you're like, meh, didn't quite turn out as you liked or it needs a little something. I used a Posca pen for this writing and it worked quite well. So you're going to need something pretty hardy if you're writing on the top of gel prints really is worth the effort and it creates a really cool look. Rhino, now of course we can use printables. These are, this is Robin's printable from one of her packs. I have then sprayed it with Isinx, that's the licorice. That's probably the honey with a splash of licorice. So I sprayed them and then just wiped them with this one. That one I've just sprayed and kind of left it all um, patterned and textured, which I really like. Now, these are laser prints that I've printed out from Robin's printable packs because I want the print to be um, clear and the laser prints means it's not going to smudge when I'm throwing paints and inks on them. I personally like that. That's just me. You don't have to do what I say, but I'm telling you, if you do, you're going to get good results. I always use laser prints because they print better and they take a lot of paint and inks and whatever you want to throw at them. So I have a few of those in different colors. I also have some printed out book text that I've also sprayed the eyes inks on. That looks fantastic. And then if we think about stencils, oh my gosh, there's so many different text stencils. I personally love Julie's Messy Writing Stencil. You've seen me use that quite a few times. That's the stencil that I did in the other episode. And then I also cut the circle out of one of these. I truly love it. I think it's fabulous. It's one of my faves. I'm definitely going to have to use some of Julie's in this episode. There's that one, there's the white one, there's one with sparklies. Ah, oh, look at this one, hello, oh, look at the copper. 
that's copper this is brown paper packaging which seems to arrive at my house endlessly why does that happen i don't know <laughs> but it does so then i have used it for a roll-off sheet with the gel plate and then i've used the messy writing stencil with copper straight over the top so recycling is your friend i love recycling free resources just saying fabulous so i have a few of those that i'll probably have to use because i just love that stencil oh and the other stencil of julie's that i totally love is her um what's it called what's it called believe script that's this script um, I'm not really sure what it says, but it's pretty cool. Obviously, if it's called Believe, it's got to be cool, right? So I'm loving that in the um, iridescent bronze fine. That's just over a gel print. Same. All of these stencils I've just plastered over gel prints. They work fabulous. I think I used some of this one um, last week. Pretty sure I did. Yeah, maybe. Um, in red, of course. Always got to have red options. So I would definitely be using some of that fabulous stencil. I love it. It's my second favorite one. Um, thinking about stencils, I also have one of these kind of real basic stencils with the alphabet and numbers on it. But look how cool that looks. That's on a gel print. And then I've put the stencil on it. Pretty sure I'm going to have to use some of that because I really like it. I also have some in pale. You know, why make one print when you can make 20, right? <laughs> now, I know you're with me on this. So you need to join in because you'll be able to use up a heap of your gel prints. It's a really good plan. I think this is a great plan. Uh, so I have this stencil with just the alphabet in quite a few versions and colors because we like variety. So then if you start pulling out some of your um, other bits and pieces, oh, this is wallpaper, see, resin wallpaper collection, manuscript in black and white. Well, it's not black and white anymore, clearly. So I use this piece to for the um, impression plate that you saw in one of my other episodes and took a print. See how you can see it quite clear on that color? Not so much on that one, but you can see it clear on that one as well, the print, which I basically put the paint on the gel plate. I put the piece of wallpaper on the gel plate. I rub it like that, and then that makes an impression in the plate. I then put on the tissue paper and pull the print. And it's fabulous. I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorite things to do because it's so simple. It works so well. It transfers really easily. And then after I've printed a whole heap of them, I then paint them and use them in my collage. Because look how nice that texture is on that piece of wallpaper. I've got that bronze one. I've got one in copper. Love that. And oh, so this is the um, liquid text bronze. And this is the golden iridescent bronze fine. Look how different those two bronzes are. But beautiful. Hello. Metallic. Oh, gotta love it. Absolutely love it. So I have to use some of those. See how exciting text is? I don't know how you thought it could have been boring. Seriously, it's not boring. It's so exciting because there's so much possibility. Now, what else have we got on the table? Oh, just some more. That, clearly, I've ripped this out of, oh, don't look, an old art book, and then I've painted a gel print on it. It looks pretty cool. You can still see the text coming through. I like that. That's really cool. That's worked well. And then, of course, if we have a rummage through the boxes of bits and pieces, we'll find text and numbers on all sorts of tissue paper. Craft shop, clearly, don't know which one, too long ago. Um, craft paper with text, that works really well. More craft paper with text, bits and pieces of craft paper with text. It's quite endless if you go and look in department stores, in the craft section, art journaling, or just in your cupboards. Hello, pull out your drawers. You'll find lots of craft papers with text or numbers or you know, the alphabet. Look at this one. I use this one. One of my Skillshare classes. Loved it. 
someone asked me for some, I sent it to her. Why not? That's fabulous. I found a piece. So I rummaged through my boxes and found some little leftover bits. Yay! So I'll use those. That would be cool. This color's cool. So there's a lot of different craft papers that you can use with text on it. See? Options. They're endless. They really are. And then, oh my gosh, so... In my Facebook group, which I am loving so much. I love this group of people. It's, they're amazing. They're just beautiful. Anyway, someone wanted something. I sent it to them. And then Gina wanted something. So I sent it to her. And then she sent me back some papers, which is so fun, right? You've got to love when you kind of create that beautiful community of people that like to encourage each other and share. And it's I'm loving them. Anyway, she sent me back some papers and then she sent this handwritten note with her papers, which is like, hello, look how beautiful she writes. I don't write that nice. I'm back. I think I wrote, have fun, cheers, <laughs> which is probably all I wrote. Anyway, she wrote a really nice note. So I am going to use that in one of my collages this week. So we are doing seven days, seven collages, one each day of um, using text that is our theme this week so you need to pull out of all your drawers and your cupboards and your craft areas pull out all the text inspired papers that you have or you can make some or you can write some or you can find some of the glorious notes and letters that people have sent you or you can go and rip up some of your books like hello options are endless and we're going to make seven collages with the theme of text. Yay! I'm so excited. Now, where am I going to start? Because, hello, I, again, have an abundance of papers. Sometimes knowing where to start is quite difficult when you have either not enough or too much, right? Because you can be overwhelmed with too much, or if you don't have much to choose from, you haven't got much to start with. But... Yeah, I always have too much. So what I personally like to do is start with how I'm feeling today. What do I want to start with today that's going to make me happy in the creation? Um, I'm liking the messy stencil. That's pretty messy. I'm, maybe I'm feeling messy. Am I feeling messy? <laughs> I might be. I'm liking that. Maybe I'll start with that and find some other papers to go with that. Or oh, I am really liking this one too. This is pretty nice. Anyway, I'm going to find something to start. And then we're going to get going on our fabulous week of collages using our glorious text papers. Yay! Right, so I've cleared some space and brought out my beautiful uh, journal ready to go on the next page. That was the end of last week. Yay! Loved it. It was such a great beginning. Oh man, I so hope you're going to join me on this because it'll be so fun to see where we venture. Um, that was fabulous. Very excited for that. So we're starting a new week. I also remembered the Nat Geo pages. Look how glorious these um, text pages come up when they're dissolved. Yes, they are fabulous absolutely fabulous so i've pulled them out as well because the text on these pages looks amazing i'm definitely going to be using one or more of these these are oh that looks good too these are the original ones ah oh, you can smell it that they're the original ones um they are fabulous but but i might even like you can also use the copies you know, the copies that I've given you to download free. Yes, you can use those. Okay, this is my folder with the uh, downloaded um, laser print copies of the Nat Geo pages. Fabulous. Yes, I might even have to use some of these. They're absolutely fabulous. They've got bits of text on them, which looks glorious. And who doesn't love red? Hello, just saying. Uh, love it. They work really well. They print fabulous. I'm so happy with how they print. And I'll put the um, link in the description if you haven't yet got yourself some of these Nat Geo pages. I think these are the ones that are in the free download. One, two, three, four, five. Those five are in the download. Yes, because that's the last page there. That's that pack. Free! 
<laughs> you can get them free. They're absolutely fabulous. I'm going to use that one because I've already used the originals and now I can use the printed version and they work fabulous. They don't have that citrus smell, but they're still glorious. This is another one that I've printed from the original. I love the text in that. That looks great. So that's another idea. Pull out the Nat Geo pages and find some of the text areas. See how well they print? They print glorious. I'm so impressed. These are laser prints. Again, they're laser prints because I like the clarity. I like the depth of color and I like the fact that I can cover them with paint and inks and matte medium. But just before I jump into it, I want to show you this. Now, when I use stencils on the gel prints or I'm spraying something, I put this craft paper, very cheap craft paper on my table so that the overspray goes into this paper and I pull it out and I put it on my table and then I take it off and shove it under the table, right? So anyway, I pulled this out and look how cool it's looking with all the colors of the oversprays. This is all Isinks, my recent Isinks obsession, yes. And you can see here where the edges of what I've been spraying and it creates all these marks. And then when I tip the stencil over and I put it on the paper to use up all the excess ink, it's got this smudgy. Anyway, I think it looks fabulous. I just really do. So I picked up my um, Posca white pen and I just wrote on some sections of it. So I can pull these sections out and use them in the text. But why I'm showing you this is I want you to think about recycling some of your gel prints and writing on them or recycling some of your roll-off sheets or your scrap paper because it's fabulous. It creates the most amazing marks that you wouldn't normally do. And it's great to use up all your bits and pieces of papers and it's just fun. So have a look at that, what you've got lying around or what you've chucked on the floor or in some boxes or in some drawers, pull them out. Have a little, you know, write something, write a letter to yourself. Like you could really do that. It'd be fabulous. I've written a statement here about art that I saw somewhere and it's just fun. And it creates another textual element that you can use in these fabulous collages. All right, all right, let's just get going, right? Okay, beautiful new pages. What are we gonna start with? That is always the question. Remember, the goal is to work fast, to not stress, to think quick, and to see what you create. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna trim off the edge of this piece. This is one of the stencil scripts, and I love it. I'm loving the iridescent bronze fine, which is what the stencil is. It looks glorious. I'm just feeling like I want some of that. How much do I want of that? You know, you know, I'm not sure. Do I want all the page, some of the page, half the page? And then if I only want some of the page, what else am I going to put on the page? Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Here we go again. I hope you're ready to journey with me. And of course, you know, I've got my scrap bag, which all these beautiful little pieces go in. So they might come back again. And we'll just see where we go. Love it. Look at that. Fabulous. So I'm going to put that there. And then I think I might put some of this. I think I used this same stencil last week. Um, I'm just really liking it. I probably don't want that much of it. Maybe that much. Yay. So then scrap bag. That's going to get used again for sure in something else. So that's a pretty good start. I think I'll just start by putting these two pieces on. I can trim that later. And then I'm not sure what else I'm going to put with it, but it'll be something. Pretty sure I'll find something to put there or down there or there. And yay, here we go. Yippee, week two, using text. So I'm loving these two papers together, but it needs something else. So yes, I know, first page, and I'm already pulling out the scrap bag. <laughs> I can see how this is going to go. Ooh, that'd work. I mean, it would. You know that it would. 
That beautiful scripting would so work down the middle there. That is such an option and I'm so tempted by that. What about that one? Yes, you saw me use all these. Oh, that'd work too. You saw me use all these pieces through the episodes. If you've been watching, righto. If you haven't been watching, you're missing out. That could work. Oh yeah, the printable script could work totally. And it's text, let's say. <laughs> just saying it is text as well yes that's yes that would work i know i know i know i need to stop pulling out this scrap bag it's already messing me up okay okay we've been quick that's it not pulling out anymore i think i liked this one i did i liked this one okay so this is the paper that i used that um, sucked up the ink. Actually, I think I folded the paper and I put the ink around the edge because it was a, an acrylic, Liquitex acrylic ink, and it was a bit thick to suck it up the paper. So I just put the ink around the edge of the folded paper. And then when I unfolded it, it looked amazing. Just saying. It looked fabulous. And there you go. Righto, I'm liking that. That's a good start. Yeah, that looks great. Maybe the other way. That way. Okay. Righto, that's what we're doing. First page done. See, first day. We're day one. Day one. We're off to a good start. Now, what's inspiring me for the next page? There's so many to choose from. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm really loving this messy um, writing stencil. So I think I'll use some of that. I think I might start, I'll probably use a few pieces of this because I really love it. But I think I'll just start with um, this one. And I would like to use that copper one as well. That's so nice, so nice. But we'll start with this one and we'll see where we head after that. What am I going to use with it? What about some of this more simpler alphabet stencil? That could work. Maybe some of this one. That might work on that. And then we'll need something for a focal point for sure. In the middle here, I think a nice big fat whopping circle. Oh my gosh, I got some new paper recently. I'm going to go dig it up. All the way from Australia, mate. Fantastic. A new shop that someone put me on to selling beautiful papers. And after a few hiccups with the shipping, it did arrive. Yay! So I might go pull that out. Let's go with this on there and that on there. And then I'm going to go and pull out a piece of my brand spanking new, amazing, wait till you see it, uh, paper. Yes! Have a look at this. My eyeballs just almost fell out when I saw it. It's from, it's from Thailand. It's a handmade, beautiful paper. Amazing. It's like the beehive paper, but on steroids. Seriously, look at these circles. They're incredible. I mean, I've got a whole big sheet of it. I've just torn off a, a little bit of it because I wanted to pull out one of these circles. I trimmed up these papers. You don't want to watch me do that. It's boring. So yay, I'm thinking I try one of these beautiful mega beehives papers. It's actually not. It's called Handmade Rose from this beautiful paper craft shop in Australia. Yay, Australia, mate, cross the ditch. Yay, look at that. That is just glorious. I know, right? We have to have new favourites. Look at that. I mean, either it is really like the beehive paper. It's just more of it. That side's pretty nice. That side's really nice. I'm figuring that it's probably going to dissolve really well because it's that real tissuey paper. I haven't used it yet. I only just got it recently. So I'm thinking we stick these two down here like that and then we put that 
there which would dissolve really well loving it oh my gosh i love that that is beautiful this is how i'm feeling today right so you know it changes every day doesn't it what you create is really changes by the mood you're in don't tell me it doesn't because it does the colors you choose the um textures that you're being drawn to really does change each day depending on how you're feeling and that's how I create, and that's okay. So I'm going to do that. It's simple and beautiful, and I'm loving that. Yay, that's what we're doing. There is so much we can create with this simple theme of text. I mean, you've got to stretch outside your boundaries and um, create some different stencils or some marks or some papers that you haven't even thought of before. It's good for your creativity. Even if you don't like it or it bombs, or, you know, it just didn't turn out the way you wanted. You've got to at least try different things, different textures, different colours and shapes. Because that's how you'll expand and grow as a creative person. That's going to be beautiful. That's the first time I've used this particular paper. I only got it the other week. I absolutely love it. I love the way it's so transparent but you can still see those glorious textures, lines of the shape. And it's simple. This page is so simple. Two prints and a bit of textured paper and we're done. You see, 10 minutes, 10 minute collages. Seriously, I don't have a timer and I'm not going to time myself because I don't like that kind of stress personally. That's a way to stifle your creativity. Give yourself a timer. Hello. Uh, but I know that, what, two prints and a bit of textured paper, 10 minutes tops. Righto, I'm going to let that dry and then I'm still on a roll. So we're going to do day three of week two. Yippee! Uh, day three, let's do day three. And I'm feeling like I want to do something a little more dramatic. I know, I know. So not like me to be dramatic. But, you know... I'm feeling it today, just feeling it. And you've got to go with how you're feeling. I like to put the baking paper under my pages because I tend to get the matte medium everywhere. I'm loving this square size of this art journal. It's just fun. It's just really, really easy to fill these pages. To do one a day is so simple when you have yourself set up that's the thing you need to have a designated art space where you're set up if you have to set up on the table and then pack it up and set it back up again you just won't do it it's too much of a drag so you need to be kind to yourself and um set yourself up a great space where you can make beautiful art i'm loving this that's one of robin's printables and then i sprayed it with the icings in licorice and wiped it with a damp cloth and look at that what a glorious color you know i really want to use the copper i really i really do i told you i'm feeling dramatic can we can we pull that off can we use the licorice with the copper that'd be cool i'd like to do that yeah you know why can't i of course i can I think I can, so let's just do it. Let's just try it. If it doesn't work, we can change our mind, right? But let's just try it. I'm loving this copper, and I think it would be really fun. I think I'll cut um, this off the edge here. I like the on the um, brown paper there and then running into the black. That's really cool. Truly, this is a paper packaging piece of paper, recycled. It was a roll off sheet from the gel plate i mean come on we're not talking high tech gear here i definitely want to use some of that maybe some of that section i'm not sure yet i'm making this up as we go along but you know we can change our minds if we need to so i'm liking that on there give that a little trim later what else? What else? I'm really loving this. Can I get away with this color? Oh, just love that. And then what will we put this side? I've got some other papers that might work with this color. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. That's going to work. 
or even that one. That's the same printing session. That's on watercolor paper and that's on tissue, but clearly I printed it, gel printed it at the same time because it's the same colors and I do that. I print in a frenzy. Are we allowed to like run it over the side of both? <laughs> both days? Can I include both days? Why not? <laughs> it's my project. <laughs> I'm going to do what I like. Uh, loving that. So we'll find something in here to go with it, I'm sure. Black and white goes really nice with it. That tiny bit on there looks really cool. I like that. Um, any of these pieces will go nice with that beautiful colour. That beautiful licorice. Oh, just loving that. Um, what about some? even some of this beautiful gold? That's lavish like that or some of these papers on the side here what about some of the text painted text painted book text that would work some of the off cuts of that would work what about oh that would work that's also had a spray of licorice on it that's a book page that i've sprayed with licorice clearly and I left it on there. And because it's a book page, it's already got a coating on it. So that coating is like reacted to the spray ink, the zinc, eye zincs. Whereas this piece of paper was just a print, printed out laser print. And then I wiped it with a cloth and it was smooth. But those, that could work. Those could work. So I think we just have to start, right? Because that's what you have to do. If you've learned nothing else, you've learned that you just need to start. So let's tear that curl off there. We'll go this way so we've got less white showing. You just have to start because truly creativity inspires creativity. So if you get moving, you'll actually encourage yourself and your brain will kick in and it will give you more ideas. But you do have to actually just get started so i know i want to use the beautiful licorice color with the um, scripting on it and i'm going to put that right there that's the plan stan that's the plan <laughs> so i'm going to trim some off the top and the bottom try not to cut it too short because oh gee i annoy myself when i do that Cut it about there. I know I could measure, but I don't. I don't. I mean, always in too much of a hurry because I just love making it so much. Right, so that's going to go there. Okay, I can trim off the excess later. Now, do I want this piece, which is very nice, I must add, or do I want to use that piece and put something else down the middle? You know, that's an option. That's not a bad option too. We could do that. We could do that and that and put something else down the middle there. What about some of this one? That could be quite cool. We could put that there. This is also sprayed with the eye zincs. Um, that could be quite cool. Do we look? I like that idea. That looks really interesting, doesn't it? Okay. But we're going to have to put some bronze on here because it needs a little something. Tear it somewhere down the middle underneath like that and then that can go like that i don't mind that white line i think it's kind of cool and then that can go like that what do you think Ta -da! righto that's a good start it's a start we're off and running and then i'm definitely using copper over here i just don't know what else we're using with it so let's just might just glue that down and um then we'll see where we're at so that's all glued down nicely those colors look beautiful i'm just feeling it today feeling these kind of somber moody colors simplicity ah <sighs> yes <laughs> that's just how i'm feeling right so I want something else on there, probably gold. So I'm thinking I'd love to, really love to use Gina's handwritten note. I think that's just fabulous. I'm going to try spraying it with some eye zinc. 
it's a shimmer spray so this is my scrap paper here to not spray it everywhere but oh look at that yeah it's working righto i'm liking this i think shimmer spray in gold it's just adding enough beautiful gold to it yay well i'll have to wait for that to dry before i can stick it on but that idea worked it'll be right once it dries i'll flatten it out and then i'm gonna put it on the page so we'll just throw it up there that's awesome now i'm definitely using the copper what shall i put there i really like the look of that underneath there so what about we trim some of this is a really nice color again i was just throwing around the Isaac sprays onto uh, book text the renaissance in italy <laughs> i got a whole heap of old 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 art books that were being discarded and of course i had to have them look through them i'm like oh man they're so old but now they're becoming artworks in themselves that's the beauty so what else is in the bag oh what about some mark making with brushes well, there's the crosses or there's that no no i'm not feeling it not feeling it get off get off get off i'm not feeling it <laughs> right -o. oh i do love these i know i used them before am i allowed to use them again because i really do think that that is beautiful i know i used them on the other page how beautiful that is i think i should be allowed to use them again okay i think i am allowed to use them again because <laughs> i'm just still feeling it right i'm using them i am absolutely loving loving this copper oh my gosh and you know i did it on paper packaging on a roll-off sheet and look at it it's just making me so happy the colour and the drama are <laughs> really dramatic. Um, I love these crosses. That's a Tim Holtz stencil. I just love that. This licorice of the eyes inks, beautiful. Now, the eyes inks on this particular um, book page, because it was a glossy book page, the eyes inks were sitting on the top of it. They did reactivate when I used the matte medium on that, just so you know. I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me. But, you know, just giving you a heads up. It won't reactivate on the uh, laser print because the paper absorbs the ink. Whereas that glossy paper on a book page uh, does kind of reactivate the eyes inks. Once it's dry, it's going to be fine. And I don't mind that it's a little crinkled. I can live with that. Uh, these colors are glorious. I'm really enjoying these colors so much. Now, what happened to that beautiful thing I sprayed with gold? Oh, there it is. Look, look how glorious that is. That's the eye zinc in shimmer gold. That's just beautiful. I love it. What am I going to do with it? I can't just plonk it in the middle. And I definitely have to, for a start, make the edges um, more raw and organic. So I'm going to just tear the edges. Thank you, beautiful Gina, for sending me this lovely handwritten note. Like, hello, how special. It's now becoming immortalized in my artwork. So I'm just going to give it a trim along the edge. It's a really nice piece of paper too. Thank you for that. Look at it. It's just glorious. Um, I might rip it a bit more. What size do I want? Where do I want it? Mm, man, man. Oh, it looks nice next to that. That's because that's gold shimmer and that's the iridescent bronze fine. That's working. Just a little bit more. I'll tear it down this way. Now, I might use that one or that one. Hmm. I don't know, because I did have another idea while I was playing with this idea. I love the gold shimmer on the licorice. I mean, come on. That's just glorious. But I did have one more idea I thought of. 
I have got these beautiful feathers from the craft store. They're not, I didn't pick them up from outside from a bird or anything because I don't even know what bird that would come from. But I did use it the other week when I was inspired by um, one of Robin's lessons and I absolutely loved it. It was a black and white feather I used. Anyway, what do we think? See, look, like, from a packet from the craft store, that one's a bit big. Well, that's a smaller one. Do we try that one? That's a bit smaller. It needs to be a bit smaller. It's a little big. That one? Is that smaller? I don't think that's smaller. <laughs> I know. I know. This one might be a bit small. Oh, that one might be a bit smaller. Let's try that. What do you think? What do you think? Shall I do it? What do you reckon? It's kind of cool. I like the little sneaky bit of the gold underneath on the licorice that looks pretty stunning need the bigger piece but i think of my beautiful handwritten note oh i love that just love that all right what do we think yes or no is the feather too much or do you think i could get away with that i could then just leave it um this side it needs a trim clearly it needs to be but the beautiful copper on this side, I think, in itself is holding its own. And also having the beautiful bronze um, crosses there, I think, is enough. I love the text under here. Remember, text is our theme. Um, I'm loving the scripting under this one. I love that colour. The gold against it is stunning. That's also the eye zinc spray. That is beautiful jelly print left over. That is also, I mean... You know, I'm just going to do it. What can I say? I love it. I absolutely love all of these colours and textures put together. You might not love them and it's okay if you don't, but I am just loving this right now in this moment. So I'm going to have to do it. I'm just going to glue it all down. And I think it's just beautiful. You look a little tired. <laughs> How about we take a break and we finish these fabulous pages tomorrow? Week two, designing with text, and we'll continue tomorrow, part two, same time, same back channel, and we can continue then. We've done our four beautiful pages today, and we'll do another four tomorrow. Don't worry, we'll pick up exactly where we left off. I just don't want to wear you out. It's only week two. We've got 13 weeks to get through 100 days of collage. <laughs> so let's have a break and come back tomorrow. Come join me in the studio and we'll continue. Yippee!